hello friends welcome back to laravel 11 tutorial so we discussed about the blade template and blade template things and uh, we discussed about the component in this video we are going to discuss about how to create a layout actually when you're going to create a application we need to create a proper layouting so we need to create some uh, special things special things means whatever we need uh, in every page we will create separate separate things so how we can do this and how to render all the things so we'll discuss about the layouting concept okay so very easy so just see it and if you got any problem in any situation just comment me below okay so here uh, this is my application and here i just going to create a layouting okay so we'll create a menu type of things and suppose we will have a home a course contact us okay so we'll create a layout based on that things with a bootstrap okay so just go to the resource and inside the resource we will have views and i just going to create a new folder uh, so that all the common folder will uh, stay in the same section so write layouts dot blade dot php okay sorry layouts is the folder name and inside the layouts folder uh, we can create any files uh, like main.blade.php okay and here i just going to use the html broiler template okay now i want to make uh, this body section dynamic and this document section uh, dynamic sorry the title section dynamic means suppose there will have a page like a home so when you click on home so the title will be home and the body will be as per the home page and the same if you just go to the course so you will get in that way okay so for that uh, just simple i just going to create a three views file so just uh, create some files like uh, home dot blade dot php and just create another about about sorry dot blade dot php or you can write a uh, course dot blade dot php okay that's it okay i will uh, discuss uh, with the three views okay now the thing is um, here we have a main blade dot php i need to make that part only the dynamic okay so uh, we will just push the title here and we will just push the body here okay so simply just go to the home page and here i will use the main blade and we will make it dynamic based on home okay so simply to make it uh, uh, to extend the main page so simply write extend and where the folder is present means we need to mention the path so the path is uh, layouts dot main we don't need to write the blade dot php so actually we will write extends layout main okay now i just uh, going to create uh, some routes okay so here simply write in this way so for home we will call the home page so we don't need actually the name for now and also for all okay so you remove these things and just to make it again so home and then uh, write about and when you click on about the about blade will call and then uh, create course okay so write course and here write course okay so uh, if you just go to the home page let's see uh, is there any error or not okay so we are not getting anything that means we have not written anything but we are not getting error that means the main blade are working so here write something aa or something uh, a is coming that means uh, when you uh, when you call the home page it's actually calling the main blade okay great now i just want to make dynamic so here i just going to create a variable type things means 
uh, here i just want to uh, create some section and section um, just use title and to make the title as a dynamic and for home page this is a home and i want to create another section uh, this is the content section actually this is the body part so right here content and here uh, just uh, write if you want to uh, create a large content so you can use in this so end section okay so just use section open and close tag inside here you can write any things and if you just have some uh, some uh, small things you can directly write by using comma separated also so here i just write home page content okay now how the main page will understand of which need to dynamic and where so i just have passing this title so here we just need to use the title so how we can do this so we need to write here in this way uh, we are calling with a section and we need to yield that things so why i yield weed okay and here for title will get title here so inside the title we have a value home for home page and same like uh, for body section we have a value or sorry the variable is content okay now if i just uh, going to click on that things so we'll get the home page content okay so let's uh, do all the things same for uh, about and course so write here course page content and write here course and for about just write about and about page content okay about page content okay so simply write course so it's getting not found sorry c u r course so write the url actually course and we are getting the course page content and if you write about you will get the about page content actually all the things are passing through the main blade and here you can see these are the variables like things or uh, this is the dynamic now uh, i just going to use some uh, bootstrap things so uh, here i just going to create a menu step so right here get bootstrap and just go here and just call the cdn so where is the cdn we don't need js only css is enough for now and here i just adding uh, into the head section okay and here i just going to call uh, the menu okay so here I just write navbar and you can see the neighbor and uh, choose any navigation section mm, this one good okay so let's copy that things and i want to use in the body section and here uh, for now actually uh, these are the home page so the link is home and course and this right course and she write about so what we need actually we can create based on our requirement and we don't need another things also all already and here write uh, learning points okay now just refresh our page okay so here you can see uh, the menu is appear so learning points home course about so if you click on home so it's appearing home page content if you click on course course page content and about about page content so in this way you can create layouts and it will make faster your application and easy to develop your application okay so this is the concept how we can create a common file and how to use that file very easy okay so i think you can understand all the things and still if you have any questions about this video please uh, comment me in a below comment section 
so next day we are going to discuss about the database connection so lots of video we already published with the static means controller concept and controller related all the advanced topic views and some view and advanced topic okay and next day from next day we will connect with the database and after that we will uh, discuss about the deep in model and all the joining all the things step by step so <coughs> all the things step by step so please stay with us and keep subscribe and share this channel with your and share this video with your friends thanks for watching this video have a good day bye